My nickname is Nelly. I am a 25-year-old Scorpio from Montreal. I graduated with a degree in Communication and Cultural Studies with zero idea what to do with it after, like most 20-something year olds I believe that happiness is achieved with a well-balanced lifestyle. Work hard, play hard, train hard, and feel free to indulge in all the sinfully delicious food this world has to offer. My life changed on July 17, 2013, when I was diagnosed with stage 2B breast cancer at 24 years old. Nagi, time for your three minutes. <laughs> Hi everyone. Like you said, my name is Nali. And last summer, I was diagnosed with breast cancer at the age of 24. And let me tell you, that's a weird age to have breast cancer. I remember when I was just diagnosed, um, I didn't even think breast cancer was a possibility. And neither did my family doctor, because when um, they examined my breast, when I felt lumps myself, they told me, oh, it's probably just a cyst or fiber or hormones, it's normal to have bumpy breasts for women in their, their 20s. I also remember the first time I was at the Jewish General Hospital in the Department of Oncology. I was walking around and picking up all the pamphlets as possible and just trying to get as much information on my diagnosis. And I remember reading statistics that said that over two-thirds of women are diagnosed with breast cancer after the age of 50 and that out of a thousand women with breast cancer, only three are diagnosed under the age of 30. So I guess you can say I'm a rare case. And so I believe that because every time I come for treatments and I'm in the chemotherapy um, waiting room, everyone surrounding me are all elderly women. And I'm always the youngest one there and people tend to always just stare at me. So there's this one time, you know how Hope & Cope, the foundation that she was talking about, um, they serve free lunches at noon. And so um, another free service out of the many that um, is possible thanks to everyone here today. And so I remember this volunteer was pushing the cart and she was calling out all the patients um, and said, whoever, all, all the patients, whoever wants sandwiches, come get them. So I love free food. So I get up and I go get my sandwich and I sit back down and then I just see all these eyes staring at me, just waiting for me to take that one bite out of my sandwich to confirm that I am truly the cancer patient. I would go and I'd be like <gasps> So you see all these stories that I'm telling you today are all written and video blogged about on my blog Nali.ca that Sylvie just mentioned. Um, I call it the diary of a now 25-year-old battling breast cancer. And I decided to go public with my cancer journey because I wanted to break that stigma that it's only old people that get breast cancer. And what better way to you know, reach out to Generation Y than through the internet? And then ever since I launched my blog, every single post that I put online, I get over a handful of emails from other women with breast cancer under the age of 30, 20 something, just like I. And they tell me, oh my gosh, I thought I was alone, just like, just like I did at first. So that's why I think research uh, and um, the statistics need to change, and I guess more awareness needs to be brought amongst our young adults, just like I, because early detection is key, and I think that's why we're all here today. So thank you so much on behalf of all cancer warriors that are 20-something years old. Oh.